Good morning. Uh, I'm a little earlier this morning, so uh, my vlog is coinciding with all the mums and dads delivering their children to the local school, so forgive the noise. Um, I've just popped into uh, St Mary's to have a chat uh, with the archaeologist who's keeping an eye on the work being done here. I think I told you uh, St Mary's has benefited from a HLF uh, community fund grant and is doing a bit of reordering, moving a, a few pews, moving the font, improving facilities at this much loved church of St Mary's. The church of course famous for holding up a, a pub in the nave uh, the first Friday in every month. I'm not sure they're doing it at the moment but I'm sure they will be again next year when things return to uh, to more like normal. Yes a, a pub in the nave, uh, beer and wine and raising money for the church not a bad idea at all. It brings the community in and often brings a lot of new people who wouldn't normally enter the building. Um, They've let me take a couple of pictures, but they are hard at work. I understand there's a meeting later today to decide whether or not the work will be finished in time for this church to, uh, to celebrate Christmas. But I've left my card and um, when I get more information about uh, what's going on and when it's likely to be complete, I'll let you know. Again, apologies if I appear to be a little on the slant, but the churchyard slopes so I have to slope with it. Uh, a couple of notes for you today. Um, Baines are, uh, have organised a webinar on improving the energy efficiency of homes, uh, which is due to be held at uh, five o'clock on Thursday the 19th of this month. So that's in uh, two days time. Um, you can see the story about that on Bath Museum's front page. But somebody asked me whether or not you could comment, uh, well, rather how you commented by email because the press release said you could. So I went back to uh, Bain's press office, their communications department, and uh, received the following information. You can email on sustainability at bathnest.cov Dot UK. It's on the screen. Sustainability at bathnest.gov.uk. Or if you're going to register to follow that meeting on Zoom, you can ask your question when you register. Uh, something else uh, you can watch a little earlier than Thursday, tonight around 7 pm. Uh, Vera Hobhouse, our MP, has managed to get a parliamentary debate on Cleveland Bridge on maybe establishing a permanent ban on heavy lorries using that facility even after the bridge has been strengthened. Uh, I'm showing you that website on the screen now. That's going to happen around about seven o'clock this evening. A great deal of interest on the website about that yesterday because the future of Cleveland Bridge is something that concerns um, a lot of people. Thanks Amanda Appleyard for letting me know this morning that uh, the tree has gone up in Abbey Churchyard. I did see someone who lives in Abbey Churchyard had taken a picture of them testing the lights. So that's good to know we're going to have a tree. The more light the better during these dark days. Uh, and something else I'll just point you towards, UNESCO celebrating its 75th anniversary since its formation. UNESCO, of course, is the international body that um, inscribes both uh, human and natural wonders of the world. Bath, uh, the city of Bath, was inscribed in 1987 for its Roman remains, its Georgian architecture, its its place, its situation, its social history. Um, Barry Gilbertson, who heads um, a body in Bath which spends money where it can on caring for the city's history and heritage. I interviewed him yesterday, it's a long interview, but um, Barry talks about how his little group uh, are helping to 
or oh, they're not helping, they are repairing the damage to the obelisk in Queen Square. And he also went on to talk about the Laura Place Fountain. Uh, he's another person who personally feels a lot of money could be saved uh, in, in just turning it into a flower bed. Maybe I should have a vote. Do you want to see the fountain restored uh, as we celebrate Bath's waters, both hot and cold? Or should we save money, be realistic and turn it into a very attractive flower bed? Do let me know. Anyway, uh, I must get on. Uh, I'm actually meeting a friend for a coffee in Alice Park later. You are allowed to go out and meet one person for exercise, which is what I'm going to do. But whatever you're doing this Tuesday, have a good one. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, all being well.